Azos Baron here with my first toy review. With 2013 being the 20th anniversary for the Power Rangers, Bandai America has taken the effort to release a number of items celebrating the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the team that started it all. Of all the gear used by the Rangers, nothing has been more covetous than the device that changes them into their namesake, the Power Morpher. The original set containing the Morpher has been one of, if not the most valuable Power Ranger toys, and finding one will cost you a pretty penny. But to alleviate this stress, Bandai decided to re-release the Morpher, but update it by making it a Toys R Us exclusive collector's piece. I present to you the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Morpher. Let's take a look at the packaging. It comes in a really nice, hefty, collector-friendly cardboard box and very reminiscent of the old vintage green packaging the original toys came in. At the top, we have the Power Rangers logo with the Legacy Power Morpher text printed in metallic gold, making it really pop off that screen. To the right of that, we have the 20th anniversary logo, as well as the 15 plus age rating, indicating that this is not a toy meant for young children. The left side of the box here shows off Bandai's new deluxe Red Ranger, another one of their offerings from the anniversary line. On the back, we get a nice picture of the Morpher in the included coins. This image shows the device in opened position attached to the belt buckle. However, once the toy is inserted on the buckle, it actually can't remain opened. Out of the box, here's everything that comes inside. Oh, and those. You get the Power Morpher, Power Coins, and the belt buckle. As a collector's piece, and stated on the packaging, this is a die-cast toy. Well, not all of it, but the metal pieces consist of these, here, there, and here. As far as the power coins go, we have the original five rangers represented. Many of us would have loved an included green ranger coin, but I can understand why it wasn't with the set. Tommy had his own gold morpher after all. The coin itself is a very thick hunk of metal with a lot of detail. On the back side, there's the MMPR logo, and on the front, you get the corresponding ranger symbol. And while fairly small, each coin has some nice weight to it. Now to the heart of this set, the Power Morpher itself. Taking a look at the front, it's impressive at how great this toy is. We have the red ring with the words Power Rangers on it, and the black, let's call them parentheses, to the sides of it. What's really great is that these are not stickers, but actually painted on by pressing the button on the left-hand side the spring-loaded feature activates, opening the Morpher up and allowing you to morph. Though I wouldn't recommend doing it in public. You don't want to give away your identity, do you? The toy also includes lights and sounds, and by lowering the handlebar, reveals the on-off switch. And when properly turned on, you'll hear the Power Rangers communicator theme. Once on, pressing the plunger button again will give you full range of all the lights and sounds. So now you're ready to morph. With the toy shut, simply pressing the button quickly opens the bracers, activates the LED lights, and gives you a morphing sound. But, by holding the button down a second time, the lights will continue to flash and plays the theme song. All right, let's flip her around and get a good look at that backside. Ooh, that sounds dirty. From the reverse side alone, you can tell Bandai put a lot of love into this, because that gold piece, yeah, it's all sculpted. On the original version of the toy, this piece was a mere sticker. What you'll notice here 
is the pivot point for the handle is on the bottom. The 93 American version had it on the top, but that was incorrect, and it's nice to see that they fixed this issue. Those color strips on the top and bottom? Yeah, those stickers. And what's worse is that there's a screw hole in the lower strip exposing the back of the sticker. So if you aren't careful, I fear it might tear. This is the only negative thing I can say. Now you might be asking yourself, well how on earth do I get the coin out once it's in there? All you have to do is press down on the Z, spitting the coin out on the other end, freeing it up so you can put any of the other included coins in. Moving on to the last piece is the belt buckle, which was never offered outside of the original Japanese dino buckler toy. I would have been okay without this, but I am so pleased Bandai went the extra mile and included it. The morpher can be applied to the buckle in two ways. One, with the back of it facing outward, or two, with the front facing out. If you see here, when it's back facing, the morpher remains flush to the buckle, but when flipped, it leaves a small gap between the two pieces. Both ways remain very well locked in place, so you needn't worry about it falling out. If you're a Power Rangers fan, or ever wanted the Power Morpher in your collection, I'd highly suggest you hunt it down. It retails for about $60, which is a steal, considering it is of much higher quality than the vintage toy, and that can run you anywhere between $200 to $400. It is hard to find at Toys R Us, but don't worry, more shipments are planned starting in May. This is ADOS Baron, signing off!